Hi guys, how's it going? My name's Marlins Gaming here and welcome back to another Train Simulator 2022 video. Itchy head. Anyway, never mind about that. <laughs> yes, welcome back with you with another video. This time with Armstrong Paris is class 456. I haven't driven a lot of this. I definitely haven't done any videos of it, I know that. Um, I've, I've had a quick look at this loaded it up. I've had it for quite some time actually. It did say in the um, actual scenario where you've got the list of scenarios and on the box below it's strongly recommended turning the um, scenery quality down from maximum due to, its, due to its high intensity so I've put it down a bit. So yeah we'll see how it goes but welcome. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the stream thank you very much for the views and also to um my moderators for um keeping an eye on things as you go but yeah here we go we're not going to waste any more time with this let's get into it um if you haven't done so already please hit the subscribe button and if you don't want to miss out on any videos then click that notification bell and youtube will notify you when i've uploaded a, a good video a good video, a video. Sorry, I'm just looking around this unit. It looks very good, doesn't it? God, even down to the label there. Look. Warning before opening. Ensure wiper dash control is in lock position. Operate lever at wiper arm cover to release anti-lockage device and pull each arm fully away from windscreen. Okay. Yes, we are currently at East Croydon. We're going to be heading through to a London Bridge. Let's jump in. I've forgotten how to control this now. Right, Shift W. Nothing's happening. Right. Hello driver, first things first, load on the passengers here at East Croydon, pause again, where you are booked to depart at 1600 hours. You will then call at Norwood Junction, Annerley, Penge West, Sydenham, Forest Hill, Honor Oak Park, Brockley, New Cross Gate and London Bridge. Please note that this driver, this service is, read it Martin, it's right in front of you. Please note that this service is driver only operated, so please insert the door key, switch on the second man's side of the cab. This means you will need to close the doors yourself once passengers have finished loading and unloading at all stations. <laughs> this is when the fun happens. This is, a, this is a 30 minute scenario, but it's going to be a six hour video. <laughs> um, Not there. Door switch key. I think that's it. Don't know. Let's uh, let's just get the doors open. That train has come into the platform lovely, so that tells me that the frame rates are going to be alright. Dunno. Got some lights on. No marker lights there? No? No? Okay. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I'm ready to go. Is that my doors closing? No. Anyone close his doors? Um, help. Door release, door release, door release, door release. Door release. That's not it. That's not it. That's not it. Is it R to close the doors? It is. 
forward. You can go off. We're moving. Next stop, Norwood Junction. What's the old frame rates doing? 21. Pretty good so far. Yeah, I wasn't going to do a uh, video this soon after the the stream. I was going to go out, but it decided it wanted to rain, so I thought just recorded a video. So here we are. Nice bit of stock on this route, I must say. Need to pay attention because it's okay. We got a green. I was just gonna be just about to say I need to pay close attention to this scenario because I've not driven this one before, so I don't know what the signals are going to be doing. But no, we're good. We're good to go. Brakes are good. We have got a little bit of a uh, lag happening here, but it, it's to be expected. It's a heavy, it does say it's an intense route. And we have a clear. Whoa. 18 frames per second. Ouch. See, I don't want to drop the graphics down too much because then you end up missing out on, on bits. I've just got the scenery quality down one click, that's all. So it's, it's away from maximum as they recommended. Right, so at this, this station you can open both sets of doors. So I'm guessing TU. No, it's only open that side only. So I can open this side then. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, door opening buttons for that side. Where are they? Are they anywhere? Cab's nice. Cab is very nice. Anyway, we'll, we'll just go out and uh... horn's nice.
Next stop will be Annerley or Annerley. I think Annerley. It's quite a nice uh, unit to drive. We're up to 25 frames per second. <clears throat> Which isn't bad. Because then we went down to 14 FPS on the previous stream. Yeah, I'm enjoying this. Let's test what the brakes are like. Probably going to regret this. Oh, they're pretty good. They are good. We can get away with coming in pretty harsh. It is London anyway, isn't it? So, you know, trains don't exactly come into the platform slow. Unless you've got buffers at the end. Nice. Like it. Like it. Ooh. That's good. I like it. No passenger view? Okay. Let's have a look around. Take that off a minute. Have a quick pause. I haven't had a decent look around this yet. So yeah, this is the um, 456 available from Armstrong Powerhouse. I'll have all the links in the description box below. Everything you can get, Just Trains, Armstrong Powerhouse, Alan Thompson Sim. Lovely detail. Obviously, this is a four car unit. 71.4 tons each car. Yeah. Love the door closes. Horn's nice as well. That is a nice sound. Is there any motor factor on this? No. This is lovely to drive. Need to stop going into emergency. I'm a bit iffy of the brakes because love it, love it. Oh yeah, look at that. I 
Oh, what a lovely little scenario. As I said, I know, repeating myself, it's the first time I've driven this. I've had a quick look around it. Oh, yes. It's quite enjoyable. Give it a thumbs up, guys, if you like it. This is awesome. I like the fact that you're actually in control of the doors as well. Like you are in the London Underground. See how close, how daring we can get with the brakes. I'm going to put the brakes on just before the signal. Now. Nope, we're good. I think. Yeah, we're going to be alright. There's some lovely stock in this route. In this scenario, I mean. Oh. Press T and U, Martin. It's R to close the doors. I feel at home in this cab. It's lovely. It's. I feel I could drive this... You know, I want to drive it further, more than doing a 30 minute scenario. It'd be nice to do like an hour scenario. Helps to put it in forward. Moves a lot better when you put it in forward. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can hear you all shouting now. What? Come on, Martin. Get with it. Get with it. Yeah, so the next stop is Forest Hill. And then we got Honor Oak, Broccoli, New Crossgate, and then finally London Bridge. And as I said in the previous stream, uh, me and my girlfriend recently been to London and we went to London Bridge Station. So I'll be interested to see what it looks like in the game. Quite built up here. What sort of frames are we looking at? 28. Yeah, 27, 28 FPS.
This is very enjoyable to drive. No information light, okay. Oh, you can move the fan! No, I can switch the fan off. Have we overshot this time? I think we have. I think we have. Oops. Rear two carriages are on, so hey. this work? Nope. I do like it. There is some lovely stock in this scenario. It's nice and constant as well. Traction control cut out. Does that work? No.
I mean, those clouds are moving quick. Have we seen the speed them clouds are moving? It must be windy out. No, it can't be because the trees are still. Don't know. Don't know. Don't know. I haven't got a clue. Really don't know. My door shut. <laughs> I like their little paws before they shut. Next and final stop, London Bridge. Looking forward to seeing this because I've actually been to this station in real life. This is when it's going to start lagging. This is when we're going to start having frame rate issues. So once again, guys, if this is a bit, this is a bit jittery for you, I do apologise. Kind of hoping it sorts itself out like it has now a little bit. Yeah, we're up to 20 now. So it's loaded things up up ahead, which is good. I am loving this. Twenty five frames per second approaching London Bridge Station. Happy with that. It's a shard up ahead. The sun rays going through coming through the clouds, look.
it's amazing. It's something like you can call it a game. Well, it is a game. It's a simulator based on real life, really. You know, I mean, it was only in the London about a week and a half ago. And playing this, I feel like I'm back there. This is amazing. Have a look around when we get out, <clears throat> or when we stop. I say, uh, should I say? Yeah, this is definitely London Bridge. Definitely. Wow. Platform 12, I said platform 2, didn't I? Don't know what made me say platform 2. Not going to start unloading passengers just yet. I want to have a look around. Yeah, so uh, we uh, went up. Where are we here? Where are we? Can I think now? Yeah, there's some escalators around here somewhere. So that's a dead end there. Uh, ba 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 ba. Let me think a minute. Think about this. Bear with me. No, that's a dead end. Um, do be do be do. Yeah, it was here we got on. Should be some stairs coming up here somewhere. Pretty sure the stairs coming up. Anyway, we got on this platform here. And I walked along here. Yeah, I remember this view. There's a wall here or something. Oh, I can't remember. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, yeah, this is just fantastic. Obviously, it's not going to go right into London, so you're not going to see the London Eye. But no, this is absolutely brilliant. Fantastic. Great. Right, let's unload our passengers. Get the doors open. And that's it, guys. Oh, I hope you enjoyed that. That's a, a little quick scenario on Armstrong Paris's class 456 from East Croydon to London Bridge Station. Very, very enjoyable scenario. I, I enjoyed that. I look forward to uh, maybe in the next stream we'll do a bit longer scenario with this one. But I can see what they mean about you know, so you need to turn the scenery quality down for maximum because I would imagine if it didn't, then it would crash, the game would just crash. You'd think, oh god, what's going on here? And that, you know. But thank you very much for watching, guys. Thank you, Ram, for taking the time to um, view the last stream, very, very much appreciated. Again, if you're watching this for the first time. 
and you haven't done so already hit that subscribe button don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you don't want to miss out on any video you don't have to you can keep up to date by clicking on that notification bell when you click that bell youtube will notify you of a brand new video that i've uploaded you've been watching man and martin's gaming thank you very much for watching and i'll see you all again soon Take care, guys. Stay safe. Bye-bye for now.